friends. I hope you're having a great day so far today. So I'm just gonna get right into today's video. Today I will be organizing my under sink kitchen cabinet. Um, it is really quite the mess. I'm embarrassed to say that I have not touched it probably since we moved into this house. So it is long overdue. And lately I've really been in the mood to get areas of my house organized. And I thought that possibly I would do a series of videos on organization. So let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. Let me know in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you guys. But first things first, let's get, let me show you the mess that is underneath my sink. Okay, so here is the mess or disaster, I should say. As you can see, there's no rhyme or reason, absolutely no organization here. Everything is just kind of thrown in here. And whenever I need to reach something that's in the very back, I end up knocking everything in front over like a domino effect. It's just a mess. So what I'm gonna do is pull everything out of here and weed through what I want to keep versus what I want to get rid of um, and then try to come up with some type of organization system for this space. Here are the bins and baskets I plan to use to store and organize all of my cleaning supplies. Um, this stack of baskets I purchased from Home Goods, and I don't plan to use all of these baskets for this cupboard. Um, whatever I don't use, I can use in one of my other cupboards or closets, but I thought these were really reasonably priced. Um, the, these two were $12.99 for the set of two, and they're really quite large. I like the size of them. Um, and then these mesh wire baskets were $7.99 a piece, and they're really large. These ones are 15 inches by 13, um, and I really like the look of it. And then finally, I purchased this little shelf from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and this basket here for a dollar, also from the Dollar Tree. So first things first, I'm just going to pull everything out of the cabinet and put it up on my island. That way I can see everything I have and it will just be a lot easier to weed through and pick and choose the items I plan to keep. So now that everything is out of this cupboard and the cupboard's nice and empty, um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the base of the cupboard because there is some residue on the bottom here. Obviously, some products had spilled. So I'm gonna clean that up and then I plan to put this vinyl on the base just to protect it from any future spills. Okay, so now that the cabinet is nice and clean and I've sorted through all of my cleaning supplies, 
I'm then gonna organize the supplies into the bins that I purchased. And I forgot to mention a couple other items that I purchased to organize this cupboard and that would be this basket here which is another mesh wire basket and this was from home goods it's 6.99 for this and then i also went up to my local grocery store and purchased a tension rod because i've seen on pinterest um, some organization pictures that have used these tension rods um, for the under sink cabinet and i thought it would be I thought it was a really good idea and so I thought I would give it a try. So yeah, we'll see how this works out. So I'm just going to go ahead and sort all of this stuff into these bins. Be with how it turned out you gotta admit it looks a lot better than it did before um, I really like the addition of this tension rod I can use this to hang my dish towels and just cleaning products that I use frequently and want to be able to access like instantly um, I love the look of these mesh wire bins and I just put my most frequent cleaning products that I use in the front of the bins and then the cleaning products I use least are in the back. Um, this narrow bin I have my sponges and my dish soaps as well as my Swiffer duster refills that I use frequently. And then I love this little shelf. It just adds even more storage to this space because I'm able to put these disinfectant wipes on top of um, uh, my dishwasher pods. And finally, I have this little wire um, waste basket, which I will use for my pop cans. I'll probably put um, like a plastic bag in here though. Um, but yeah, this will be nice storage for the pop cans until I take them up to the store to return, which I'm so bad about keeping up with that. We have bags in the garage right now that I need to take back to the store. But I'm really happy with how this turned out, and now I'm so motivated to go and organize other areas of my house. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hopefully it has motivated you to organize a cabinet in your house. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and I just want to let you know how appreciative I am of each and every one of you. It truly means so much to me when you leave a comment, when you like one of my videos or when you, of course, when you subscribe. Um, I just uh, really truly appreciate it and I want to say thank you and thank you again for watching but have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.